You can think of diminishing returns like two water bottles. Hello and welcome once again. Today I'm going to do a short guide in diminishing returns. I see this term thrown around a lot on the internet and I think a lot of people might be confused as to what, what it actually is. There are essentially two different kinds of diminishing returns from video games. There is one of the general term that people keep throwing around as whenever they're saying hey i'm going to equip this and i'm going to get a diminishing return out of it that's what mostly this video is and then the other one is how we know defense works defense is sort of the more you put into it to the less you get out of it that is another kind of diminishing return basically if you are going to do something and your return would be diminished it is a diminishing return also if you are going to do one thing but doing the same thing in another place you'll get a higher return your returns are also diminished this is how i see diminishing returns and this is why i think people get confused on the term that being said here we have valby and here are her stats now these stats are already based on a stat sheet here i have a skill power boost ratio of 0 0.972 772 of that is coming from focus on non-attribute and then the other point two is coming from the reactor itself. Diminishing returns works like this. If I go and put a spear and shield on Valby, it will take my damage from 47,677 to 51,539. In order to understand the difference in damage from that, we would have to take 47,000 and take it away from 51,539 which would give us 3,862. And we would divide that by the smaller number to find the difference. So currently, Sphere and Shield accurately gives us a 0.1% increase in damage. If I were to put on the Slayer set and have a base skill power boost ratio of 0.261, I would be getting 60,121 damage. And this is without Spear and Shield. If I then equip Spear and Shield, it will give me a 342, and my damage will be 63,900, which, if you'll notice, is the same amount of increase as before. So if the only thing that changes is a set amount, that set amount will give you a set amount of return. The only difference is we already had 60,121 damage instead of the 50,000 that we had before, only netting us a 6.5 return on investment. And this is how diminishing returns actually works. The higher I go in certain things, the same amount I will get. The only difference is whenever you change multiple things, you get multiple numbers. So if I went and I added non-attribute power and then changed spear and shield, the spear and shield number would be different than 3,862. This is the difference between additive and multiplicative values. Technically, everything is multiplicative and technically everything is also additive. It just depends on how you're looking at it in your damage formulas. So everything has diminishing returns inside of the game. You always want to start with the highest number and you will get more of a return adding it to the lowest number. For instance, if I were to take off focus on non-attribute, and put on a maximized skill, I would get 64,349. We end up getting way less off of Spear and Shield because now our non-attribute power boost ratio got moved into our base skill power boost ratio. So the amount that we get off of Spear and Shield, way less because we don't have the non-attribute power boost ratio to multiply the 0.8. And this is how diminishing returns actually works. In order to get the most bang out of your buck, this is why building in this game is so much fun, because you have to find the best ways to put in the best things. And don't forget, you always have stuff from your reactor. So if you have a maximized skill, putting a spear and shield on your build gives you like 3 and 3% 3 more damage. It's just not worth it. You might as well run increased defense and have more damage reduction than you got damage out of Spear and Shield. You can think of diminishing returns like two water bottles. If I have two water bottles and I have two ounces of water, I can do one of two things. 
I can uh, put two ounces of water inside of one of these water bottles and multiply the other water bottle by 0.2. Or I can get a third water bottle and multiply both water bottles by 0.2. This is how to avoid diminishing returns. This is also how to exponentially scale your damage. The more sources of damage that you have, the more damage output it will be because they multiply each other. Looking forward to the new season. I have Eugen and Ajax on the way, but I am waiting for the new season because of the updates that we don't necessarily know exists. I don't think Eugen will get an update, although his healing math is god awful. Let me know what you want to see out of the new season. Check out my channel if you like the way I do stuff. Consider subscribing. Y'all have a sick day. Peace out.